Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry here at Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. This is our Music Minute, a time where we take a look at our hymns for worship tomorrow. And we're going to start with our gathering hymn. Uh, it's By All Your Saints. And this is a unique hymn in that it uh, can just be about used for any saint day that you can think of. It follows a pattern. So the first stanza is a general introduction about the topic. In this case, it would be about the saints. And the second stanza would then be unique to a given person. In this case for tomorrow, it will be St. James the Elder as the saint that we are commemorating tomorrow. And then the third stanza serves as a doxology. This particular hymn used to include in its title, By Your Saints in Warfare, that has since been revised because they removed militaristic language from the hymnal as we move forward with our ELW. And it's sung to a tune that you know well. In fact, we just sang this tune, We All Are One in Mission, just a couple of weeks ago on July 4th. And today's diff version is a little bit different. I think the last time we did Music Minute was on the piano. This time we're gonna do an organ version. And this is actually a song called Peace, which features the tune. And it's by David Evan Thomas. And it focuses on a line of, Oh Lord, now you let your servant depart in heavenly peace. very calm rendition of By All Your Saints. Our next hymn, our hymn of the day tomorrow, will be Will You Let Me Be Your Servant? And Will You Let Me Be Your Servant is a contemporary hymn, first appearing around 1989. 
The hymn serves as a universal address to all, and it also see, asks permission before service is rendered. Will you let me be your servant? It took the author nearly a year to compose this and um, or to write the words. Sometimes we hear these things that you know it came to me in an hour, or two hours, or overnight, or whatever. Not this one. This one was a full year in the making. The composer of the tune is well decorated, having studied at the University of North Carolina and the Eastern Eastman School of Music, and she went on to receive an honorary degree from the Episcopal Theological Seminary in Alexandria, Virginia, as well as two other schools. Um, I don't remember what they both were, but um, three schools that she got honorary degrees from. So this is Will You Let Me Be Your Servant? that such a fun piece is that I probably should have warned you when before we went in you have to work hard particularly in the middle to hear the melody come out of that but every time you think you hear the melody and it's going they throw a very dissonant chord in or a different note or something and it just it really uh, keeps you hanging it's suspense if you will or at least I think so all right last but not least we're going to do oh when the Saints go marching in this comes from our new hymnal all creation sings and uh, has not been in our prior hymnals. It was in This Far By Faith, but it's not been in LBW or ELW. And this was an African, or is an American, African American spiritual. It appeared as a hymn, but it's most commonly known for, yes, you guessed it, jazz pieces. Uh, the song evolved around 1900, and there were several evolutions that happened there, uh, different variations. It used to be slow and stately when it started, but as you might have guessed, over the years it has become markedly up-tempo uh, and more jazzy. It's been done by a variety of musicians. Aaron Neville, Louis Armstrong made the, the trumpet and the jazz piece of it. Judy Garland had her own arrangement of it. Uh, Elvis Presley, Bing Crosby, and it even made an appearance in the 1984 Olympic Games. 
So we're going to move over to the piano for this, and this is a very jazzy version of it. Um, so when the saints go marching in. jazz for you. Maybe you felt like you were in New Orleans tonight. If you are joining us in worship tomorrow in person, that's at 8.30 and 10.30. And if you're online tomorrow, that's at 10.30 premiere on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Hope you have a good night.